Hey everyone, it's Jody. I just wanted to make a very quick video. I started to make this one early this morning. It's been a day and <clears throat> and I just want to put this down real quick. I'm calling this the ever shrinking gray line. And what I mean by that is that um there is a pressing going on right now and it is it is ch uh, taking the wheat from the chaff, separating the sheep from the goats. <clears throat> and in that I'm seeing so many of mighty warriors, including myself and some others that I know that are just incredible warriors, just really going through it and really, really being pressed. I want to encourage everybody that um, this is just a sign that God is up to something. Do I always like it? No. Do I always uh, smile and go through it? No. There's times I'm really struggling and I have people who pray for me as well because uh, i get hit I get hit on multiple directions and stupid things and um but anyway but it's just a sign that the enemy is uh freaking out and that God is allowing it to see where you stand hot or cold there's no longer this gray there's been gray in the church for far too long there's been people in the church who have done uh, uh just uh enormous things that don't represent the Lord at all and Gog and Magog have taken over and money becomes an idol and uh, the whole church environment becomes a routine that puts God in a box and it's just so sad but <clears throat> this is a time where we are really being pressed to see where our faith is and if we feel the wind we feel the rain and I've said this so many times on different shows Stay in Goshen. Goshen is where God said his people dwell. And we feel it. We feel it. And, you know, I don't know about you guys. You could probably see it on me. I'm tired. But um, but I'm, I'm wanting to encourage you all to stay in Goshen and understand that we are being taken from either cold or hot. Um, I'm sorry, taken from the gray to either cold or hot. Because this is a season where we're going to put our faith in action where we've been. Now, we all have friends that we have to call and say, pray with me, man. I'm getting hit on this side, that side, this side. You know, if one could put a thousand to fight, two could put two thousand to flight. If you have friends that don't stand with you and that they just get annoyed and, you know, move on and find people who can stand together. And, you know, we don't have time right now. So this ever-shrinking gray line, there is no lukewarm. There's no more lukewarm. The Lord said, be hot or cold or I sp spit you out of your mouth. The other thing is, don't beat yourself up. So I was reading about Samson in chapter 14 of um, Judges and 15. And then I went into 16. I was like, man. Um, so Samson chooses a wife, not of his own people of belief. And some chaos ensues from it. He ends up having to, um, when he goes back, his wife is given to a, a companion, a friend of his, and he ends up getting angry, tying flames to the uh, to foxes' tails, 300 foxes' tails, and he sets the crops on fire of the father in the fields of the Philistines who um, <clears throat> who gave his daughter away, Samson's wife. And... Uh, that chaos caused a thousand people to come after Samson. He picks up the jawbone of an ass and he beats them all up. Then he moves forward into the next chapter and um, he meets, he goes and he makes mistakes and he does things uh, with w women of ill repute. And then he meets Delilah and falls for the same nonsense. And what I wanted you to, you to get out of that is even though he was moving not in the manner that God would want him to move. He didn't have the Holy Spirit in him like we have today. It would say the Spirit of the Lord came upon him. The Lord would come and help him. The reason he was able to beat all the Philistines, that thousand Philistines with the jawbone, was because the Spirit of the Lord came upon him because God's gifts are without repentance. So even if you're struggling, you're going through something, you've made some mistakes, You've gotten angry and, you know, shook your fist at God. You know, just keep fighting because in that fighting, the spirit of the Lord that's in you 
will come out. The gift is not removed unless you reject and walk away. And, you know, and even in the end with Delilah, the spirit of the Lord still came upon Samson. So I do want to encourage us all to say, yeah, we make mistakes. We feel the wind and the rain. We behave a certain way. But the grace and glory of God, the thing is right now, we need to remain um, in, in being totally sold out, totally hot for God, flames of fire, as ministers are flames of fire. And I hope that this little word can help encourage you. You know, the line is thinning. We all feel it. We feel like, oh, what's going on? You know, and we see people who we thought were just patriotic, godly people just falling off to the wayside. And then we see other people just getting on fire for God and being ready and willing, especially these younger generation, to step in for the fight. We see those who have a calling getting shifted and then coming right back into their anointing. Um, and, you know, and we're going to take down the enemy in spite of our own um, faults. But the only way we do that is by relying on the Spirit of the Lord. And we have him in us. And greater is he that's in us than he that is in the world. So I hope this makes sense. Um, I love you all. Sorry. Uh, no frills. No makeup. Don't care. I just want to get this little word out to you. God bless you all. Much love. Bye.